What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Tech Preacher. So I'm here again with the evil twin. As you know, the evil twin been coming here weekly and talking to me about all things related to tech. So I'm going to name this series No Fluff, No Passes. I've done videos like this in the past. So in this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about the state of LG. So let's have some fun talking about LG smartphones. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys? I want to welcome the evil twin in our Star Trek uniforms. What's up? What's up, Eric? I love these uniforms, you know, back to classic Star Trek. I really love it. I love wearing it. I look good wearing it. So what's up with you? So let's talk about LG smartphones. As we heard, the LG Velvet was discontinued off, the, off of the AT&T website. So there's no carrier selling any LG devices. So is that a good thing or a bad thing in your opinion? Well, I believe it's a good thing not having uh, to be on the carrier for upgrades and payment plans. Look, even though you could probably play it out uh, on your carrier, most carriers don't like that. They like to con a customer by utilizing their upgrades and stuff like that. They want to have you on a payment plan to lock you in for years. So, you know what? That's a good thing that it's not on the carrier anymore. Plus, the carrier would not give you a fair market value for that device. It will be extremely high. So, you can go on Amazon and eBay and get devices like the LG Velvet for under $200. There is no reason to put that device on a payment plan because it's so cheap. That's no reason. Right, so also remember that the last LG device that was released was in 2020. We're in 2022, so usually carriers sell the current generation device and the previous generation device. So. The LG devices right now is going on about two years old. So the carriers will not carry a two-year-old device as of right now. So, you know, I think that's what we're seeing right now. But what happened in your opinion? What happened to LG in your opinion? Well, LG should have fired the marketing department years ago, right? I mean, look at what LG have done. I mean, don't get me wrong. They have made their fair share of mistakes and a lot of screw ups. Think about it. Devices like the LG G5, the modules and stuff like that. Some of the stuff that haven't even came out and it gave up on the program. Next, talk about the LG G4, even though it was a long time ago. But remember boot loops, right? Everybody remember that. Plus, when the LG G6 came out, one of my favorite phones, but it had previous year processors in it. And the community, the tech community, ripped it to shreds, right? I think LG also lost some of its identity in the V series and the G series. I think it started confusing people on which device was the flagship. So I think that was an identity crisis that LG brought to the table also, because a lot of people like that word flagship and a lot of people didn't know which one was the flagship. Look, I could go on and on about LG's issues, but when you look at devices like the LG V30, the LG V40, the LG V50, or even the LG V60, those devices was excellent, right? The primary thing that was missing, it was called marketing. Marketing, that was the primary thing that was missing. Wow, that's a lot there, right? That's a lot of issues LG had. Uh, they could have probably recovered, but I think lack of a spine hurt them as well, right? So with all that said, why do you think that the LG community is so hooked on their devices? Why is that? Well, one of the biggest reasons why the LG community is so hooked on LG devices, because they are great. Plain and simple. I remember watching reviews on the LG V30. People was putting that device against professional cameras and the footage that we saw was shockingly close to professional cameras. Now look, what LG did was mind blowing. 
with devices like the LG V50 or even the LG G8X. It was offering a dual screen experience like no other. So the people in the LG communities, they know ultra quality when they see it and they know that LG did it right. But again, marketing was the, the problem. Look, plus devices that offer the different experience, LG did, right? That it can't be matched to this day. Devices with a headphone jack with a quad deck, this unmatched to this day, right? Pro video mode with audio mode, right? That you can adjust your audio, uh, audio uh, accordingly. Look, you have one of a kind devices like the LG Wing. Uh, then, I mean, look, even with the mobile department being closed, LG pr promised three years of support. And to this day, in 2022, there's been, they've been on point, right? They've been supporting their devices like no other. So the, the LG community knows this, and this is why they support their devices. This is why they support the LG devices, period, because they know how good LG phones is. So what's next for LG fans? Should they hold on to fate or just moved on? Because we just saw HTC is coming back in the game and we also saw BlackBerry get permanently out of the game. So for LG fans that's out there, what's next? What do you think that's next for LG fans so that's out there? In 2022, if you have the latest LG devices, you will be fine. You will get updates up until 2023. Plus, at the price point of LG devices and the support that it's getting, it's a steal, especially at the price point. So if LG devices are getting Android 13, going into late 2023 into 2024, you should be fine. Now let's get this straight. Just because the device may not get any update doesn't mean that your device will stop working. If it was fast now, if it's fast now, it would be fast later. So as far as battery life, I think, you know, you would start running into some battery degradation, but by that time, you got to make a decision whether or not to replace the battery or move on at that point. But you also got to remember that LG devices still, even uh, next year or year after next, will still have best in class cameras, best in class sound, audio, quad DAX, plus you got dual screen support. So you definitely gotta think about it like that too. Plus LG device got a beautiful display. So, you know, every now and then you might have to reboot the device to clear the cache and stuff like that. But the devices that's working now should be working fine next year. So you should have no issues with, you know, performance and everything else in between with LG devices. Wow. So that was a great conversation. And I think we had a good one today. Look, I'm going to make plenty of videos like this, no fluff, no passes, and we're going to enjoy ourselves and have fun doing it. Look, thank you very much for coming on another episode of no fluff, no passes, even though we started back up again, but I'm glad you're here every week. Y'all we're going to have the evil twin. And we will have a discussion about different topics in the tech space. Man, that's what I'm talking about. This is Eric the Tech Preacher and the evil twin in the building. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think that if about LG and everything. Let's have some fun. See you guys on the next video. Peace.